Come on. Surprise, surprise. Hurry up. Wait. Oh, no. Under the front seat. <sighs> oh, sweet home. <laughs> Don't worry about your coat. <laughs> You're right. Sod my coat. Oh, it's locked. Locked? No, Raj. No. Come on. Come on. Not in here, Raj. We shouldn't. We shouldn't. It's all right. Yes, love, you're right, I do. Always.
ruddy pipes. Why doesn't someone fix them? Oh, I'd miss their friendly gurgle. <laughs> Probably rats. Oh, don't. What's the matter? Don't. I don't like it. We had them last year. Rats? Dug up great holes in the garden. Could you see them? No. They only did it at night. We had the rat catcher in dropping down poison. But they thrived on it. Council coming here. Uh, the old blinking garden up. Forty joining the drains. You got any fags? I left mine in the van. In my bag. But don't smoke. Not in here. It's all right. Open the window. Where is it? I suppose I must have left it in the hall. Roger. Yeah? I do love you. I know. Lighter. Oh, it's broken. Who the hell are you? I might ask the same of you. Here, just a minute. Oh. Look, do you mind? Yes, I do, rather. This happens to be my bedroom. Mr. Marsh, I don't know if your wife told you, but I'm Judith, her friend, at Pottery. He's furious. Wouldn't you be? <laughs> what a dreadful thing to happen. I don't think she told him. She must have. Do me up, would you? I don't think she did. Well, we're not stopping to find out. Oh, we can't just leave. Why not? Because we can't. It's rude. Rude? <laughs> Bloody rude. He comes into his flat, finds us in his bed, and all he can say is... I'm thinking of his wife. What about his wife? I don't want to get her into trouble. Yeah. Well, that's their problem, isn't it? Come on. No. Come on! No, Roger, I'm not just walking out. All right. Go and talk to him. Apologise. I'll see you downstairs. Coward. What? You're scared. Huh, of him? Leaving me to do the dirty work, are you? Oh, no. Go away. All right. I'll go and bloody see him. You tidy up in here.
Look, uh, Mr. What's your name? Marsh. Oh, I'm sorry about all this. Well, didn't your wife tell you? My wife? Yeah. Well, didn't she tell you about us? About the uh, arrangement? <laughs> well, you see, the thing is, uh, Judith met your wife at pottery class, and they got friendly, and uh, Judith just happened to tell her about our problem. Judith told her? Yeah. Where to go? That's it. And your wife said... What's wrong with your own home? Well, we can't go there. Why not? Well, we can't. You're married. Children? No. Not at the moment. On the way? No. So anyway, your wife very kindly, uh... What's wrong with your friend Judith's home? Well, uh, she lives with her mother. So my wife very kindly said this flat was empty Wednesday afternoons. Both of you being at work and, uh, lent us the key. May I have it, please? The key? Sure. Judith's got it. No hurry. After tea will do. Tea? Yes. You'll stay for tea. Well, no. Look, uh, well, it's very kind of you. I've made it now. Oh, we really ought to be getting along. Why? You'd still be here if it hadn't been for me. <laughs> yeah, I know, but... For God's sake. It's the least you can do. I'm sorry, would you mind? I can't manage. Well, down here, I suggest. Oh, Mr. Marsh, you shouldn't have bothered, not on our account. Well, do sit down. Oh, thanks. I remember your wife making those. Mrs. Legrand, that's our teacher, she said they showed a lot of promise. I don't know what you must think of us, Mr. Marsh. Honestly, we do feel dreadful. I'm sorry. Would you mind? No. Oh, no, of course not. What have you done to it? I've had an accident. Doing what? Does it concern you? Oh, no, I... Well, I only asked because I burnt myself recently. Yes, and you did nothing about it, did you, stupid? Ta. It went septic. Yeah, I had to go to the hospital. They nearly had my arm off. Mr. Marsh. Sugar? Sugar? You know, thank you. You say you met my wife at pottery? Yes, that's right. Actually, we're getting a bit fed up with it now. We're thinking of changing to keep fit on Tuesdays. Huh. How long have you been coming here? About six weeks. Only Wednesday afternoon. Half day. You always use my bedroom? Oh, no, we always use the spare room. Only uh, today it was locked. That's right. Yes, it was locked. I mean, normally we wouldn't dream of using your room, only... Well, the spare room was locked. Yeah, I'm having it decorated. Who's doing it? The job. Who have you got for it? Roger's in the decorating business. Oh, I see. I'm doing it myself. Perhaps he bought the paper from you. 
without knowing it. Roger's got his own shop in North Parade. He'd have given you a discount if he'd known. Well, wouldn't you? Yeah. Where did you go, as a matter of interest? I like to know my competitors. It wasn't local. Mind if I look? No. So, yeah, I said no. Oh, I, sorry, I... Well, I thought you meant... There's nothing to see. I haven't started yet. You're with an auctioneering firm, aren't you, Mr. Marsh? You value people's possessions, don't you? After they're dead. Yes. Your wife's told me all about it. Must be very interesting. And what about you? Do you assist your friend? Roger? Oh, no. She's a receptionist, <laughs> ladies' hairdresser. Over the road. She sits in the window with a great big red telephone. Don't be rude. And she caught your fancy. Well, you couldn't very well miss her, could you? Why not? I watch him loading his van. You have a van? Yeah. Which, which of you made the first move? I did. You're across the road? It was me. I did. My mum wanted a room decorating in the well, it seemed the obvious place to go, really, didn't it? Does your mother know about... Who oh, no. She'd have 40 fits if she knew. Because you're going with a married man. What's well, all right, I told him. I'm not asking Roger to give up his wife, you know. But what can you do? These things happen. Is it outside now? What? Your van. Yeah. Hey, what about your wife? Do you think she suspects? I don't think so. We're careful. But perhaps she has a friend. What? Well, maybe oh. while we're sitting here drinking tea, she's in the arms of the coal man? Impossible. Why? We're on gas. <laughs> Cake? Oh, no, thanks. Not for me. I've put on so much weight recently. Really? You'll have some, I'm sure. Yeah, we need a knife. Come on. Let's get out of here. No, not yet. You should have chucked us out. Why don't you go tell me more about our private life? What did you win when I worked? You started that. Hey, Rog. Look. What about it? Well, they're his wives. She was always going on about them. They're one of her interests. Oh, just admiring your geraniums. My wife's geraniums. I must have left the window open. The storm must have damaged them. Will you help yourself? Yeah, well, we uh, really ought to be going. Don't go. I won't have anyone to talk to. Your wife will be back soon. Will she? Come on, Jude. It's raining. If you go now, you'll get soaked. Where have you got the van? Ah, yes, the van. I was wondering. I'd like to borrow it. The van? Yes. I have something I want moved. Well, uh... What is it? A trunk. No, look, I'm, a, I'm sorry, but I'm loaded up at the moment. With wallpaper. Look, surely there must be vans where you work. Collecting people's possessions, you could borrow one of them. I'd rather not. It's personal. One doesn't like one's colleagues to be involved, does one? Yeah, well, uh, 
As I said. Come on, June. Yes, well, I'll say goodbye then, Mr. Marshall. Good. Uh, <laughs> thanks. I'll see your wife on Monday then. Monday? Pottery. She wasn't there this week and I was wondering about her. She won't be coming anymore. She's giving it up. Well, that's funny. She never said anything to me about... She got fed up with it, like you said. Well, perhaps I'll phone her then. She's going away. When? Any moment now. We're just waiting for transport. Goodbye. Two strangers, drinking his tea? That's just what they do. They try and tell people, show how clever they are. Yeah, all right. What about the van? What's this trunk he wants moving? He's not getting the van. He could force us. How? Threaten to tell. Margaret, he doesn't know us. He knows what work we do, though, doesn't he? Yeah, that was beautiful. Why did you... T oh, forget it. Where are you going? Do I have a drink? Oh, no, we've got to talk. About what? About him. Her. I'm not getting involved. It's too late. All right. Over a drink. We'll talk about it over a drink. Lock a room when you're decorating it. You know that. They didn't get on, you know. That gives him a reason. How do we know he was her husband? What? Well, you never met him. Could have been a burglar. Oh, don't be so stupid. Of course it was her husband. You used to talk about him quite a lot. Quite intimate things, actually. But I promised I wouldn't tell. Don't, then. But it's important. Look, what about his hand? And those geraniums, they weren't damaged by a storm. Oh, you mean first their heads, then hers? It's not a thing you joke about. Look, they had a great big flaming row during which he smashed her flowers and she probably bit his hand. And she pushed off out of it. Over. Finished. Locking the spare bedroom on the way. Forget the bedroom. I've told you what happened. That's what you want to believe. Of course it is. I've got a wife to think of. It's none of our business. How can you say that? She's been very good to us, letting us use her flat and everything. All right. What do we do, then? You tell me. There's only one thing to do. Go to the police. <laughs> what? And blow the whole works about what we were doing there. Talk a bit of sense. It's our duty. <sighs> Look, I'm not going to the police, so you can put that right out of your head. Now, finish that up while I phone Margaret. And I'll bring us back another. Carmen? Here, have you got my book? Hmm? My order book. 
No. Oh, I've lost it. What? The van? No, I had it with me in my pocket. You sure? Yeah, I had it when we went in the flat, in this pocket. I hung it up in the hall. Well, it's got all my customers' names in it. He's pinched it. Yeah. <coughs> but why should he? Well, what am I going to do? I need it for tomorrow. You'll have to go back for it then, won't you? said you'd be at work. Gordon? I had an accident. Have you come alone? Who do you think I'd bring? I thought you might have someone waiting. I haven't. What exactly are you going to do? What I told you on the phone. Oh, you have transport then. Obviously. I'll give you a hand. No, thank you. I can manage. I've been through a bad time since Sunday. A very bad time. And don't you want to know? It hasn't exactly been a picnic for me. Well, at least you've had company. I've had nobody. What about your sister? She doesn't want me. At least you had your mother to complain to. We didn't even discuss you. Of course you did. It's only human. I'm just saying that I had nobody. And there's a good few things I could tell people. Look, I thought we agreed you wouldn't be here. But since you are, you might at least leave me alone and let me get on with things. You really do hate me, don't you? Can I have one? You don't smoke. I've started. What did you do to it? Your hand. I burnt it. What on? The kettle. When? Monday night, after you phoned. Who did the bandage? The hospital. That's why I wasn't at work today. I just got back. But you just said you did it on Monday night. I did nothing about it. Stupid. It went septic. Don't you want your tea? Where are my clothes? What have you done with them? What have you done with my things? Out of sight, out of mind. Gordon. Gordon! Client. Yeah. Well, we had lunch and then went back to his uh, club for a few drinks. Yeah. I left my order book. But I'm just going back for it now. Yeah. Phone box. Don't worry, I'm quite sober. Yeah, I'll be all right. How's things? How's the mouth? Yeah? Well, I don't know if they're still open, but I'll try. What's the stuff? Yeah? Oh, yeah, I remember. Yeah, OK. Not long. Yeah, you too. 
Bye, sweetheart. Well, right, ready then? It's all right then. What? Back to the flat. You do want your book, I suppose. What, no hurry? Finish this. Talk about it. I'm fed up with talking about it. We've got to do something. In a minute? Not in a minute, now! Jude, don't start that again. <sighs> You're scared, that's your trouble. Right through this whole thing. It's been an eye-opener to me, I can tell you. What are you talking about? I know what a man would have done. Oh, yeah? What? Gone to the police, faced his responsibilities. Look, my responsibilities happen to be a wife, oh, a shop and a mortgage. Yes, yes, that's easy. Well, what do you know about it? You're just a... Yes, what? Forget it. Oh, come on, come on, you tell me. What am I? Jude, people are looking. That's all you ever care about, isn't it? What people think of you, parading about your shop. God's gift. You should just hear what the other girls call you. Listen, he's killed his wife. And you just want to sit there and do nothing about it. Shut up. Where are you going? What's the number? What number? The flat. Look it up. Under Marsh. Six three two four. It's a woman. Ask her name. Uh, who's that speaking, please? It's Maureen. Give it to me. Maureen? Oh, it's Judith. Pottery. Hello, Judith. No, I'm fine, thanks. My husband. This afternoon. Oh, yes, of course, it's Wednesday, isn't it? Gave you tea. Go on. He didn't. No, go on. Well, honestly, we, we've been in a dreadful state. I know you'll think we're stupid, but... Well, we thought he'd done something awful and put you in the spare room. Tell her about the book. What? The book? Oh, um, Maureen, Roger says he's left a book behind. Yes. Well, can he come and get it? No, no, we're just round the corner. Yes, of course he can. Where did he leave it? No, I can't see it. What's it called? Ah, oh, it's an order book. No, of course I don't mind you telling me. It was a joke. Yes, I'm sure it was. <laughs> I can't manage it all tonight. I didn't think you could. What'll you do? Come back next Wednesday? I must have left the window open. Where's my pottery? About your two friends. I don't want to talk about them. Well, I do. You let them come here without telling me. I didn't think you'd be interested. You didn't tell me! Gave you a kick, did it? 
knowing they'd been here? Or did you go one better? Did you come back and watch them? Isn't that what you did? And they caught you at it? That isn't why I came back. What does it matter anyway? It matters to me. Turning my house into a brothel? What do you want next? A red light in the window? Madame Marsh, the well-known board, invites customers to her marriage bed. Tea provided. Served by the chief eunuch. Is that yours? You gave him to me. It was a strange situation entertaining your kinky friends. She's a perfectly normal girl with a normal, healthy boyfriend. You're speaking from experience. What? You know him. No, who told you that? At first I thought it was you making the most of the empty flat. When I saw him standing there in his pants, I thought he was your friend. He was your type. But I thought, here's the final slap in the eye. And then I saw her. In my bed. Naked. Perspiring slightly. Rather my type. But I couldn't just chuck her out. Not your little friend from pottery. So I did the proper thing. Made polite conversation. Gave them tea and cake. And then they got this funny idea about you and this room. Almost as if they could read my mind, anticipating my intentions. Did you hear? What intentions? I thought they told you on the phone. Oh, yes. They thought you'd killed me. But you wouldn't have the guts. It's all dreams. Pathetic lies. I've been living with them for years. You couldn't frighten me. But I wouldn't do it. I've got someone to do it for me. Really? Who is it? Someone I know or some hired assassin you've picked up? Yeah, I didn't pick him up. How much are you going to pay him? Or what he deserves. Well, he'd better hurry because I'm going. He's on his way. Oh, well, I... I hope he won't bump into Judith and her friend. That would spoil everything. They're coming back. Yeah, I know. They left something behind. This. Oh, I'm a bit sloshed. Yeah, you wait down here. Rog, I'm sorry about what I said. I didn't mean it. We'll still be all right, won't we? Well, we can't come here again. Well, there are other places. Cynthia, that girl at work, she's just got a flat. Well, I'm not going there. And have Cynthia call me rude names. Oh, she won't. I was making it all up. Honestly, I was. Shall I fix it, then? 
Wednesday? Well, I don't know yet. To think about it. Margaret's getting suspicious about half days. Well, that's an evening then. No, I can't do evenings. Rog, you do still love me, don't you? Of course. Well, kiss me then. For heaven's sake, Jude, not now. But I want you. Yeah, all right. No, you stay down here. Like all a good right. little girl. All right. Mrs. Marsh? Mr. Marsh? Maury! Anybody home? Maureen. Oh, sorry. Marsh! Marsh! You bastard! Marsh! Judy's downstairs. She'll go to the police. She'll tell them everything. She'll never get away with it. Come on! Open the door! Let me out! Marsh? Are you there? At least talk to me. Police. Yeah. <laughs> 